Hello, welcome to this video tutorial on passcode door lock system using finite state machines. In this lab, we are going to design a passcode door lock system by using basis 2 board and Verilog programming. This requires a sequence of passcode to be entered by the user to open the door. This can be implemented in hospital, home, car, and any convenient door. This is a very simple system where the system will issue an unlock pulse when a particular sequence of buttons are pressed. In our system, we are going to have four buttons start, red, blue green and our code detector will take all these four inputs along with a generated input called button. This button is R of red, blue and green. That means if any one of the button red, blue or green is pressed, our R gate will generate a button signal as one. That means the code detector will understand that some button is pressed among red, blue and green. For this system that we are going to design, let us assume that the passcode is going to be red, blue, green and red. That means to unlock the door, we are going to press red first time and then blue and green and we are going to press the red for the second time for the door to open. If we enter any other sequence of inputs other than red, blue, green and red, we are not going to get an unlock signal. So the first is going to be start button. Then the system understands that we are going to enter an input. Then we need to enter red, blue, green and red again for the system to issue an unlock pulse. Now let us see how we can design such a system. The first step is to capture the finite state machines, the finite states. The states that we are expecting are a initial state which is represented by init underscore s when a system is turned on that is when a power is turned on the system that we are going to design will enter in its state and after a few seconds it's going to enter the next state so in its state is not in our control we are designing in its state in such a way that when the system is turned on it enters in its state and after a few cycles it automatically moves to the next state so we really need, don't need to worry anything about the init state and the next state is weight state which is represented by weight underscore s and this is the state the system enters after the initial state and is going to wait for the user input at this point we can enter any of the input start red green and blue so system is going to wait until we are going to give any input and then we have start state. What is start state? Start state is the first state the system enters before taking any input from the user. So when a user is ready to give an input, he then presses a start button. When the start button is pressed, the system will anticipate you to enter the sequence of passcode. As you know, red green and blue these three states corresponds to the button press of red green and blue so i use red 1 s because we have two red buttons in our passcode red 2 s is the final button that we are going to press to generate a unlock signal once the unlock is issued 
the system will go back to the wait state and wait for the next user input. Now we need to know the differences between the switches and states. Red, green, blue and start they all are switches. Red underscore S, start underscore S, green underscore S, blue underscore S are states. When you press a button, the system will enter a particular state. So please don't get confused with state and button. For example, if you want your system to enter a start state and then you before that you should press a start button. How this finite state machine works? As I said, when you power on the system, it enters the initial state or a init state for a few clock cycles and automatically it comes out of the init state and it enters a state called wait state. When the system is in wait state, we are not going to issue a unlock pulse. Now when no start button is pressed, that is represented by not start the system remains in wait state. Now system is waiting for a start pulse. Let us say the user is pressed a start button. Now the system will enter the next state. What is the next state? It's a start state. So when the user presses start button, the system enters start state and here again no unlock pulse is issued. Now the system remains in start state until no button is pressed and this is represented by not button. Now the first correct passcode is red. Let us say the button that is pressed is not red. That means a button is pressed and it's not red. Then the system will go back to the wait state. And if a button is pressed and if it's indeed a red button, the system will go to the next state. I repeat again, the system will be in init state for few clock cycles and automatically enters a wait state and if you don't press start button the system remains in wait state and if you press the start button it enters start state and the system remains in start state if no button is pressed and if a button is pressed and if the button is not red it goes to the wait state and if a button is pressed and if it's indeed a red button it goes to the next state now let's see what happens after this now let's say the input is a red button so it enters the next state so the next state is red state 